Thank you for watching Virginia this morning. 2021 was often referred to as the year of the Great Resignation, where countless people left their jobs. And now here's an interesting question. What happens if you embarked on that resignation, but now you have regrets? Can you get back on track? Our next guest says that yes, you can. Joining us by Zoom, Darcy Eichenberg, a top career expert and author of the new book, Red Cape Rescue, save your career without leaving your job. We welcome her to our show. Darcy, it's wonderful to see you. Hey, Jessica, it's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely our pleasure. This is the topic of conversation and it has been for so long. We've gotten really used to seeing this great resignation headline and now this has been going on long enough where I have friends this has happened to. They've taken that next step. They've taken a new adventure and they've gone on to a new career path and now they're looking at that old one thinking, hmm, did I make the right choice? Yeah, it's, it has been happening a lot. And whereas there are some people that absolutely, they were ready to move on. Uh, it's the right step for them to move on. There are some where people got caught up in the fact that we were talking about it, that it seemed like, well, everybody's doing it. Or, um, well, one thing is bad, so if I go someplace else, it's going to get better. But then you find that maybe the grass isn't always greener. Sometimes when you go to the other side, the grass turns out to be spinach. You know, we, <laughs> we have to really take a look at what did we make our decisions based on, but we don't want to dwell on it. We want to learn from it. And by learning it, we're able to move forward and make the next decision that's right for us. That's right. And we, I guess you hear that lesson in life is don't dwell on it, but reflect and see what it was. And maybe you learned that motivation that made you take that step, right? So for for folks who haven't uh, resigned, who haven't taken part in the great resignation, this conversation can, can help a lot in terms of um, evaluating what you're doing and finding a way to maybe be comfortable where you are. You say assess those assumptions, don't assume. Right. There are so many assumptions that we make about our workplace, but here's a secret that most people don't realize. Everything in work is all made up. You know, the fact that your workload looks one way or your relationships in the workplace are looking at one way, um, you can change those. You can control the things that you say, the things you do, and the way that you think. So often we get caught up into these assumptions about what will never change, what we can't change, without actually really looking and saying, is that true? What do I have control of? And you have more control than you think you do. Wow, isn't that the truth? And we, we've learned so much in these last nearly uh, two years of things that we would have said, well, that's impossible. That couldn't possibly change. And then it did. So we can't make those assumptions. But a lot of folks who maybe did the great resignation are having those regrets. You say that there's an opportunity to behave like a boomerang. Yeah, there is actually a thing that's been around for a long time called a boomerang employee. You may have never heard it in your organization, but the boomerang employee is simply somebody who goes back to where they came from. This happens all the time. Even the big professional services firms create alumni networks to keep in touch with people so that they may come back or they may be great referrals for them in the future. So if where you came from is actually looking better than where you went to, it's worth opening up an honest conversation. I mean, hopefully you didn't leave in a, uh, a rude and negative way where you burned all your bridges. This is another reason, if you're thinking about leaving, to not burn your bridges, to not, you know, just go in and, and be offensive. But you can go back to places that you were. And it creates an opportunity to create change, to hit the reset button, and even to have a better conversation about what you know now that you didn't know then that you might really need to feel like you are making your best contribution at that workplace. Mm, in order to be boomerang, see exhibit A, don't burn those bridges, right? So that you can go back and and uh, and bring that experience maybe back to the table uh, to your previous employer. And that's another area of focus that you say really uh, hone in on the experience, maybe that you want or that you could learn or that you could bring to an organization. Yeah, being able to take a little time and reflect what is what is what did I learn about this? What were the assumptions I was making as we were saying before? Or what did the new experience show me that was possible or that was maybe true that I didn't even see could be possible in my old place? 
we can, you know, there's no mistakes really, right? We make the best decision for the information that we have right in front of us. And we always get the chance to make the next decision. So we learn from it. We, we can't dwell on it and we get to keep moving forward and making new decisions as we learn more about ourselves and about what's possible in the world. And Darcy, I think that we are getting better with having conversations. And one of the, the suggestions that you make is sharing the story, talking about it here, the friend that's been talking about it with me in terms of like, oh, I made this switch, but I'm not really sure. Having conversations lets you prompt that reflection too. Yeah, sharing your story is so important. It's really interesting in the world of careers, unlike a lot of other things where we tell things online or to our friends all the time, but about our career, we keep it very sheltered in so many ways, almost like we're embarrassed that we're learning things, that we didn't come out of the shell just perfectly formed. Well, but when we recognize if we share our story, chances are somebody else needed to hear that. And so, not holding it back, not you know restricting ourselves from looking imperfect and not having it all figured out. Nobody has it figured it out. They figured out the way we learn is from each other. So we really need to share our story. That's right. You you started the conversation by saying it is all made up, and we need to be aware that we can have conversations, learn from each other. And Darcy, I could talk with you all day. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. Oh, thank you so much, Jessica. Appreciate it. And I hope your friend checks out the book and gets the help that she needs. Absolutely. I will talk with her about it. Thank you very much, Darcy. Great. Her brand new book, Red Cape Rescue, Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job, is now available. For all the information, we'll have a link on our show website by early this afternoon, WTVR.com. Darcy Eichenberg, thank you so much. All right, Jess. Darcy had some great nuggets of information there. Mm -hmm. I agreed and learned from everything she said except for one thing. She said there are no mistakes. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> and I've made them. But uh, I think one of the things she did say that I really relate to is that boomerang thing, because you can be in a situation where you don't agree with management or you don't agree with the philosophy or you know whatever, as they say, creative differences, and you go someplace else. And then you learn the tricks that they're doing, but you agree or even on a bigger level and, and then you can go back and maybe management's changed, maybe some other people have come in and you've got friends and people that you really liked, really trusted, and you can say, they're doing this this way. We could try that. It's all, uni you know, it's all so unique. I've worked with folks who have boomeranged, so it's an interesting concept and some are still here. Some have trajectory elsewhere. Yeah. Um, I think the the big or the big element for me with Darcy was communication, especially talking with your current employer in this time. And and guess what? I think in a lot of instances, well, I, I can't guarantee it, but I, I feel like they'll be receptive. It should be a receptive conversation because employers are wanting to maintain the talent that they have in place and want to make sure that you're engaged. I don't know whether the last two years have been like totally engaging because you are everyone is learning new things or have had to or whether it's totally overwhelming or just really a nice mashup of both I was going to say it's both it's <laughs> definitely both because we've all had to figure out some way to make things happen and while it was challenging at the time it's also very rewarding and if you if you're lucky enough to have a great team like we do it, it really it, it it touches you sometimes it's all different all right. One thing that's for sure, stay tuned. We'll share our uh, final thoughts on this morning's show in less than three minutes. Don't go anywhere.